Section 5 of My Bible History, Old Testament, by Bishop Morrow. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. The Punishment for Disobedience In the garden God called Adam, Where are you? Adam came forth from his hiding place and answered, I heard your voice in paradise and I was afraid. God asked Adam why he'd eaten of the forbidden fruit. Adam tried to excuse himself, saying, The woman whom you gave me to be my companion gave me of the tree, and I did eat. God turned to Eve and asked, Why have you done this? Eve replied, The serpent deceived me, and I did eat. Then God said to the serpent, Because you have done this thing, you are cursed among all cattle and beasts of the earth. God condemned the serpent to crawl upon the ground and to eat dirt always. God said to the serpent, I will put enmities between you and the woman, and your seed and her seed. She shall crush your head. In these words, God foretold the coming of a Redeemer to save mankind from the devil, a Redeemer to be born of the Blessed Virgin. God told Eve that because of her disobedience, she should bring forth her children in sorrow and pain, and that she should always be subject to her husband. Turning to Adam, God rebuked him and said, Cursed is the earth in your work. With labor and toil you shall eat thereof all the days of your life. You shall eat of the herbs of the earth. In the sweat of your face shall you eat bread till you return to the earth out of which you were taken. For you are dust, and into dust you shall return. God then clothed Adam and Eve in garments of skins, and sent them out of paradise. At the gate he placed cherubim with a flaming sword, turning every way to prevent their return. Because of their disobedience, our first parents were driven out of paradise into a world of suffering. All the miseries we suffer on earth are the results of our first parents' sin and of our own sins. They are the punishment for breaking God's commands. End of section 5